<laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hopefully the light's not too harsh, too bright. So I'm going to do a few interviews with different people that are in various stages of recovery from sex, love, and romance addiction. It's very delicate. Uh, <laughs> in fact, you know, I'll be supplying ski masks. <laughs> Their real identities won't be, you know, out there. It, it, it's going to all be incognito. Um, when I said that this is delicate, what I mean is that a lot of people, when they, when they really start to take responsibility for their behavior and, and start to realize that so much of what they had been doing with other people all these years is pretty much just lying and manipulating to get their own needs met. But many of them didn't even realize it at the time because the addiction was talking and... Uh, But you know, once you once you get into recovery, you just kind of look back and you're like, "Oh my gosh, so much collateral damage." Um, and I I just kind of want to explore the theme with other people um, about how the the undertaking of intimate relationships is is a, an awesome awesome responsibility. And, and not to be taken lightly at all. Uh, and yet, I just, I just think a lot of people out there aren't careful or conscious about what they're doing when they get involved with other people. And um, you run into all sorts of problems when one person has an, a, a particular agenda going into this... Uh, when getting together with someone else and um, well <laughs> I'm gonna have to finish this later I just anyhow that's all okay <laughs> bye <laughs>